Well, batting continues to take centre stage as we join my old teammate Graham Thorpe. And with nearly 7,000 test runs at a shade under 45, 2,500 or so ODI runs, his credentials don't need too much of a boost. But I can tell you from first-hand experience that Thorpey was a fantastic player. He helped me enormously with my batting, mainly playing spin. Now, I couldn't do what Graham did. His big thing was to manipulate the field, get the fielders, when facing spin, in the position he wanted them, not what the fielding captain wanted them. The way he did it was far too complicated and skillful for me, but it did at least get me thinking about how I might manipulate the field. We caught up with him in Mumbai where he worked tirelessly with a batsman on the England Performance Programme to develop their technique in subcontinental conditions. We were allowed to share in a one-on-one -on -one between Graham and Ben Folkes of England Under-19 and Essex in 32 degree heat. And you will notice that Thorpey believes that all decent players can develop a technique which will help them thrive at the top level if they can take on board some key principles. I'm sure you, and ultimately your players, are going to enjoy the fruits of our very privileged access. OK, Ben, we'll go through a um, session which we chatted about the other night. We'll do 15 minutes of work against pace, short ball work, getting back into drive, and then we'll move on to spin. Working our press forward and back, using the depth of our crease, bringing our feet into play. I'm working on some sweep options as well. We'll go through a warm-up first, okay? Yeah. For pace, okay? If we can just go into a few drives to start with, a couple of pulls. Ben's new, in a way, to this environment in the performance program, so I, don't, I haven't known him, you know, a long time. So getting to know him, getting to know his character, seeing how he works, seeing how he stands up to challenges. So, like anything, you know, I'll often come in pretty hard at them with the short ball to see, first of all. They've got character, they've got some bravery, but it's not just all about that as well. So it's about the skill of being able to play a pull shot off your throat, basically, and starting to work at what you can leave when it goes above the eye line, but also the balance back into the ball and decisions to leave it. So that was the main part of that session, really, was to try to get him strong, slightly stronger position on his pull. Sometimes it's a little bit narrow at the moment, so just trying to squeeze him, trying to do that a little bit with those boxing drills at the beginning. Drive. Pull, drive, pull. Just doing a little bit of that body movement with the boxing and the medicine ball. I think we'll have to do more work of that. So it becomes almost second nature to, to feel those shots. So I think we'll try to integrate that more into his strength work as well with the S and C. Shot. A little bit sometimes pulls with his arms, so we're just occasionally just trying to get a little bit more snap. But he's got quite a good foundation to work with, but it really is trying to put the add-ons now and trying to make him clinical. When you start to get to this level, it is the difference. When the ball goes above the eye line, if you take that on and you're trying to actually hook it, that can go up. But if you execute well from the throat down and hit down hard in front of square, you know, you'll be able to put a bowler under pressure then. So if he just misses his length, and then if he comes up to the batsman and he's on his drive, well, then he becomes a handful for a fast bowler to face. So it really is trying to get that confidence. And that will be a certain amount of volume and a certain amount of what I call sequence um, delivery. So maybe only working in two sequences, above the head, throat, and then maybe throat, and then full ball, throat, full ball, uh, then length, throat ball, length, throat ball. So he has to make these decisions about, you know, leaving, yes, I can take that on. And I think you have to encourage, I'm trying to encourage him as well. If you're seeing it, take it on, see what it feels like when it's just back of a length to take that on. And then start putting it all in the mix. Ultimately, you've got to make a decision every time a ball comes down. So the more pressure it's put under, hopefully the better decision he'll make. Um, and it's about loading them up with cards, basically in the back pocket when they walk out to bat. Good balance. Okay. Put the power on the pull. Okay. Keep working More into, into the, it. Yeah, yeah. Try and get a base on it, all right? So we draw, see how strong you can stay in that position as well. Yep. Okay. Good. Left arm, focusing. I'll watch Ben. Good, good balance. Yeah. Okay, you feel that position 
working towards on yeah, I felt pole. stronger on, on the pole there. Yeah. It wasn't like rolling around on it. Yeah, yeah. Just gave me a bit more time and a bit more punch. Especially when it's out that side of you. Yeah. Yeah. You think about that boxing shot. Okay. Right, I think you can squeeze that okay. closer to that position. Yeah. Right, allow you to be mobile as well in terms of getting under it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to come a little bit tighter, okay? Intensify it a little bit more. Position. Played. Strong. Use the body well there. Yep. Shot. Position. Good position. I wanted to watch and I wanted to observe. I didn't want to dive in, you know, too much on it. So it'd be interesting when I look back at it. I wanted to sort of give encouragement like when I saw something which I thought was worth encouraging. How's that feel? Feels right, yeah. When you get your feet fractionally wider. Yeah, I think as well, you could just get that a little bit snappier rather than... From the wrist? Yeah, kind of see it yeah. you know, out there yeah. rather than yeah. just like bring them back and uh, pull straight away just save a bit of time. Really? Yeah. And just allow me to get over it rather than roll over. Yeah. Hands? Bottom hand? Um, in terms of snap on the Yeah, on the pull. May, maybe holding it a bit tight. Yeah. Uh, which I guess means I have to roll roll with my arms. Yeah, yeah. If I loosen that up I can get more into it, I guess. Yeah, I think you know, when it's outside off stump you can free your hands up. Yeah. That's when power coming through the legs and trying to maintain that upper body position but really yeah. using your legs to create that position for your power you can actually hit down once i've hit it stay it be still in this yeah position. but you know like you know, still want to be a bent bent here loose through that position you're trying to create that stable position so it gives you that economy of movement either back into the ball or if you had a bouncer coming at you yeah okay okay so just keep grooving that okay once yeah. you keep working sequences above your head Throat, length, that's decision making. You can break it down, regardless, you know, sometimes you can work just above the head, throat, so it's purely on the pull. What or, sort of height would you go up to? Like, to pull? Chin? I think, I think if you can pull from your throat, because your eyes are, eyes are above the line of it. The minute it gets up here, that's when you're, above the eyes, that's, that's, that's when you're kind of guessing and you don't have the same control. Yeah. But I think if you work hard in those areas, the volume of it, your decision making gets better. And that's really what, what, what you're looking for, that decision making to get really, really clinical. So we're just going to use this to get that front foot bend in there, pushing back. If I throw it into the hip, clear the hip, tuck it away leg side, it stays out there, over the top, stability on the back leg. Okay, so if it's not turned, yep. it still allows you to get the cut away. Okay. Let's do it without the ball to start. Okay, so if it comes into leg, clip away, goes over, stay out there, okay. Keep working on the depth, okay? So when you come over, you push back, okay? Create that stability on that back leg as well. Okay. Okay. Good, how was that, okay? Yeah, that was right. Yeah? She's got a bit explosive. Yeah, yeah. First few I was a bit like slow on my feet, but once I pushed off, it was yep. We'll just do one, okay? A couple where you're advancing. All right, so I'll just drop a few in front of you. Okay, we'll get the spinners in. We we'll have right armor and left armor. Work the depth of the crease. The area we're trying to avoid is that half cock position, trying to be light. We're trying to get that intent and busyness when we first go in. Play it as you see it. Can I jump in here? Good. Footwork, Ben. Okay, the off is man around the corner, short leg, sweep in front of square, him back. Yep. Okay, drive man, mid on, points open. Where's your man around the bat? Short leg, slip. Yep. Left arm has got slip and a short leg. Is that short leg, other slip. offie same as you? Yeah. Good power back, the front leg. Yep. Yeah? Good here. 
clearing it well. Okay. Good. Gone. Shot. Footwork. Not a great delivery. Wade, folks, see. Tam, bring me the thin back. We weren't putting him under enough pressure. He was coping in terms of length. He was reading length well enough. I didn't want it to be too structured, if you know what I mean. I sort of had an idea at the beginning what I was looking for, but I sort of thought on my feet a little bit, a little bit when we moved on to the spin. Um, I was watching the session and all of a sudden I realized he's coping quite well. And actually I didn't have the thin bat actually planned possibly for that session. So then bring that in just to actually sharpen the footwork up. And the reason for that, again, is to make sure that he's really concentrating hard on his footwork and he's middling the ball creating the stability on the back leg in terms of once he's pushed back. But all of a sudden, once the left arm spinner, all of a sudden he went with a thin bat, got one past the outside edge, just intensifies his footwork. And he has to then show that intent. He has to show the skill with his front leg being powerful as well. And you saw a couple of times there he was able to come down the track, even with a thin bat, you know, which shows confidence. And that one again was in the challenge. You know, so you get to the 24 ball challenge and he's got to play an effective shot on every ball. So there was a couple of times when, I wouldn't say he got lazy, but you know, played with the hands a little bit with a thin bat, rather than actually getting really back onto that back leg, clearing the front side, and actually not turning the hands too hard, but really trying to middle the ball. Stay strong on that back leg. Yeah. Okay, hold it there. Stay stronger on it. I like to roll on it, but. Yeah, and turn the hands too quick on it. Okay, so you stay longer through it. Well done, good. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it closer with this. Yeah? Yeah. Turns out there was just short of a length and turn it too soon. Got yeah, you back can't there, do that with this, can you? Did well. Did well to stay on it. Oh. That keep low? Did. It did. Asia, don't presume that it won't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? All right. That's where we've seen it short, almost gone straight back on it. Okay? Just stay, stay. Stay as long Go as you more can that on way the shot. First. Yeah. Yeah. Good, better balance on the back. I could tell he was a little bit tired, so I would have normally, I would have shifted back to the big bat after that. After Thimba, I would have gone straight back to the big bat, you know, for another 20 balls. Well done. Let's just do a few sweeps here. Finish yeah. off, how's that? So, yeah. Uh, um, Had to work harder. Yeah, it's just a different mindset when you get half bat. Yeah. Like when, when you've got a full face, you just- You can. You just back yourself a bit more. Yeah. And like, just, you get away with a lot. Yeah. Here, yeah. You, like, the ones I try to do that, with that, you, Yeah. like, it's just that instinct. Yeah. Sometimes in England, you can just, you see it short, gone. You go, yeah. you're into your shot straight away here, where it doesn't bounce sometimes, or it might really kick at you. You don't quite know, so you see what might be a cut ball, you push him back, and you got to, and that's why you need your balance here. Yeah. That's why you need that, that strength on the back leg as well, because if it doesn't turn, boom. You want to be able to jam down on it last minute. If it does bounce, you can clear this and get it out of the way. But your footwork's really coming together. He's actually got a very good game. He's quite, his footwork is, is pretty good at the moment. Um, and he seems more comfortable actually coming down. And the sweep option is purely, literally, for if on a day he didn't want to come down the pitch because it's really turning and he's got men around about and he needs another option. That he's actually confident of being able to play it. That's why it's working sort of back of a length and then up. So that if he is looking to sweep but he can't, you're then deliberately forcing him back, having to push back hard, and he can play off the back foot with it. So trying to create two options. We're trying to initiate that same movement in terms of being able to, when we're getting deep here, to cover the ball full as well, or if we're going back. So we're just trying to initiate the movement, almost as if we get half there, and then we're into a sweep. If I throw it, right, full, as if you're pressing against a spinner. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and all of a sudden you might think that you're going down to sweep. Yeah, you know, from here you're still in a position where you can push back and you can still cover the full yeah. ball as well. But he might then just throw it in. Okay, from there, you know, almost once you've committed, if you're going for a for a big square sweep, but I throw it in straight at your toe. So we'll we'll try to create almost two two options on it. Okay, okay? so yep. you can bail out almost with a fine sweep, but if it's out there, then we're just trying to execute a square sweep on it. And here, that's going to get, in terms of where it's pitching, you know, you're going to have to alter your stride. Yeah. So you might have to fetch a little bit. Remember we were saying at Loughborough where you've got to get on top of the ball. OK, 
take it down a bit. I'm just going to lob this as it's going to spin. It could spin that way, it could spin that way. You're trying to smother spin on it. So you are trying to get close. Okay. Okay, to it. Yep. Well done. Well watched. Good. Good. You might be thinking, look, I might look, look looking to sweep. Yeah, if you're at the back end of a game and so say you don't want to go down, you know, because it's turning too much on you. Yep. And again, you might be putting pressure on the spinner, just at the point of release, body language pressure. Basically, you know, you'd be faking to come down. And you're almost halfway into that sweep position from there. You can also, because you've got some bend through here, you can bail out as well if he throws it in quicker at you. You can get Johnny, away. Johnny, you doing that here? Well, you can, you can. That's the reality of it. If I go back, and we then we do half, yeah. half a dozen from back there. You, you're almost trying to create quite a dynamic position, which allows you to have a couple of options on the shot, depending on whether it goes in to the area you might want to sweep, or it goes back a length, flatter, bang, you get your tick over shot. Okay. Okay, but we'll yeah. do that again. Okay. Good. Yep, good. Now I'm just going to go to a half throw. And again, you've got to make a decision on it. You've got to look, if it's back of a length, you can push back, it just goes up, you're going to look to sweep. So again, you want to be initiating that power position for yourself. Okay, so I deliver from halfway up here now. Okay, so we're just chaining it back. Good. Shot. Shot, Ben.